Yeah, yeah. Afro-Asiatic yeah. yeah Of Shemetic descent uh. Yeah Who's the Yahoo yeah. yeah Shalom, shalom where Afro-Asiatic Hebrew presents the six phylums of Afro-Asiatic by Uziahu Ben Yehuda. We are Afro-Asiatic Shemetic. We're Afro-Asiatic Hebrew, A-A-H, and we're Edenic Shemetic Israelite, E-S-I, by Uziahu Ben Yehuda. All right, let's go into the six phylums of Afro-Asiatic. One, we have Ometic, two, Chadic, three, Beber, four is Keshetic, Five is Shemetic, and six is Egyptian. Now, one key person that's connected to Afro-Asiatic is Noah, because Noah had three sons. He had Ham, Shem, and Japheth. And so the world basically consists of Hamitic, Shemetic, and Japhetic um, descent. But when we talk about Afro-Asiatic, out of the three sons of Noah, two sons are connected. You have Ham and Shem. So Ham and Shem are basically Afro-Asiatic. Now let's look at the son of Ham. So Noah, son Ham, had four sons, which is Cush, which is the Ethiopian, Ethiopian, the Hamitic Ethiopians, Mitzrayim, which is Kemet, the Egyptians, Put, which is the ancient Libyans, and slash Somalians, and Canaan, which are the Canaanite nations. Now, let's look at Cush. So Noah, sons, Noah, sons, Ham. Ham had a son, Cush. So this is Noah's grandson. So Cush and Mitzrayim are Noah's two grandsons. So check this out, y'all. So you have Cush, which are the Hamitic Ethiopians, right? And the Cushites, or the Hamitic Ethiopians, would be um, or Oromo or Oromia, which is Eastern Cushetic, and you got Somalia, which is Eastern Cushetic. So Oromo and Somali, they're very connected and similar in history, look, and even language. And as we see, um, in this phylum, because they're from number four, the Cushetic phylum of the Afroasiatic. So Oromos and Somalis, they're Afroasiatic. They're Eastern Cushetic, okay? But remember, Cush is one of the grandsons of Noah. So Romeo and Somalia will be Noah's like great-grandchildren. Not great, you know, but you know, some of his great-great-great-great-grandchildren. So Noah, son Ham, had a son Cush, and from Cush, you have his great grandchildren, which would be Romeo and Somalia. All right. Now let's look at Noah's son. Noah's son, Shem. Um, also Shem. Um, you had Shem, but you had Sumeria or the Sumerians from Mesopotamia. Um, that's connected to Shem. So you have Shem. It would be Shumeria, but Sumeria. So the Sumerians are connected to Shem. So um, in the research, another word for Shem is Sumeria. All right, so you have Noah's son Shem. You have the Central Shemetic and you have Southern Shemetic. So Central Shemetic, you have Arabic and the Hebrew language and people. So one, you have the Afro-Arab and you have the Afro-Palestinian. And two, you have the Afro-Asiatic Hebrews. So the Afro-Arab, the Afro-Palestinian, and the Afro-Asiatic Hebrews, we are Central Shemetic. So we're Afro-Asiatic, and we're Central Shemetic. We're number five. And we're that's Noah's son. All right. And you have Southern Shemetic. You have, you have the Shemetic Ethiopians, Eritreans. Air, air so the Shemetic Ethiopians would be one, Amharic Ethiopian, and two would be Tigrinya Eritrean. And Amharic, Ethiopia, and Tigrinya, Eritrean, they are considered Habasha. So when you hear Habasha, that those are the, the Shemetic line. They're Afro-Asiatic, but they're Shemetic. So when you hear Habasha, that's um, Ethiopians, 
the Shemetic Ethiopians, the Shemetic Eritreans, um, mostly Amharic um, Ethiopian, Tigrinian, Eritrean, and even Tigray as well. You know, so I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper into those. But from what I know, I know I've interacted with the Amharic Ethiopians and the Tigrinian Eritreans. That's why I put them down. So I just put down who I have interacted with. Of course, I'll go into more depth studies later on. But let's look at the chart. So out of the six phylums of Afroasiatic, which is Ometic, Chadic, Beber, Cushetic, Shemetic, and Egyptian, two are the phylums of Afroasiatic, which is Cushetic and Shemetic, right? So Noah's actual son is Shem, and then Noah's two grandson is Cush and is Cush in Egypt. Okay, so Noah's son Shem. And then you have Noah. Then you have Noah grandson Cush and Egypt. So you have the Shemetic, Central Shemetic, that's Afroasiatic Hebrew, Afro Arab, Afro Palestinian. And then you have the Shemetic, um, Southern Shemetic. You have the Amhari Ethiopian, and you have the Tigrinian Eritrean. And then you have the Cushetic, Eastern um, Cushetic. You have the Oromo, Oromia, and Somalia. Now, like I said, Noah's son is Shem. You know, you got Sumeria and Mesopotamia. Noah's first grandson, Egypt, Kemet, Mitzrayim, which is Ham. And you got Noah's second grandson, Ethiopia, Cush, which is Ham. Now, um, with Afroasiatic Hebrew, we also make flags. So you see... Um, the Eastern Cushetic, we have Somalia, Oromo, and we have the Afroasiatic, um, we have the Afroasiatic Hebrew, um, Somalia flag, Oromia flag. We have the, Af we have the official Afroasiatic Hebrew flag. That's our official flag, the red, black, and green. And we have the Afroasiatic Hebrew, Afro-Arab slash Afro-Palestinian flag. Then we have the Afroasiatic Hebrew Southern Shemetic flag, which is the Amharic Ethiopian Afroasiatic Hebrew flag. And we have the Tigrinian Eritrean Afroasiatic Hebrew flag. Now, when you look at these flags, you see the different colors of the nations. Like you see Somalia, you see the blue color. Now, none of these flags, we're not um, trying to replace, downgrade, or disrespect um, these nation sovereign flags, what these flags represent first. These flags represent, if you see, when you see the Somalian flag, and in the middle is the Afro-Asiatic Hebrew seal. And what you see, you're going to see a golden circle. Um, you're going to see the Shema, Deuteronomy, or Devarim, Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 6, and you see the golden menorah with a white background. So that's the Afro-Asiatic Hebrew seal. So the Afro-Asiatic Hebrew seal is on the color of the Somali flag on the color of the Aroma flag, the color of the red, black, and green, the African-American or the Afro-American flag. Um, we have the um, black, red, and green. Those are the, um, the Afro-Arab, Afro-Palestinian colors. You have the green, yellow, and red. Those are the Ethiopian colors. And you have the green, red, and blue and gold. And those are the um, Eritrean to, um, to green colors. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I did, I have the Afro-Asiatic Hebrew seal on these nations' flags because you have, because the Afro-Asiatic Hebrews, we were scattered to all nations across the four corners of the earth. And so what's happening, we're having an awakening. First, you have an awakening in America. So you have the red, black, and green, the African-American flag. The red, black, and green, those colors represent from West Africa to the islands, to North and South America. All of us from the transatlantic slave trade, it represents us, all right? Um, the black, red, and green, the Afro-Arab, Afro-Palestinian, it represents the indigenous Arabs, the Afro-Arabs, and the indigenous Afro-Palestinians. So, so I just wanted to show that. Okay, now, First, the flag represents the children. Like you may have um, a Somali parent, 
and you may have a Afro-Asiatic Hebrew or AKA African-American parent. This flag represents those children. It represents their existence. It represents who they are. It represents that, that they are Afro-Asiatic Hebrew, but they're also Somali. So they might have, uh, they might have a father that's African-American or AKA Afro-Asiatic Hebrew, and their mother might be Somali, you know, um, the mother might be a Romo and the father may be Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. Um, the mother might be Ethiopian and the father may be Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. The mother may be Eritrean Tigrinian and the father may be Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. So these, um, these flags represent the different nations, but the red, black, and green, it represents who Afro-Asiatic Hebrews are. So that's our official flag to let you know all oh, the so-called African-Americans were Afro-Asiatic Hebrews. We come from ancient Israel, you know, um, we are Mado, we are Garachu, we are um, Selim, Selimti or Selim, we are Tekor, we are Shakor, we are Aswad, you know, so that's who we are. So it's just these flags are representing first those children. They may have a Afro-Asiatic Hebrew parent or a, you know, a Somali parent or a Romo parent or Afro-Arab, Afro-Palestinian parent or um, an Ethiopian Amharic parent or Tigrayan parent. So these flag represents those children. Also, these flags, it represents the Afro-Asiatic Hebrew support alliance and friendship with Somalia, with Oromo, with um, the Afro-Arab, the Afro-Palestinians, with the Amharic um, Ethiopians, and with the Tigrayan Eritreans, right? But the flag on the reverse, it also represents the support of Somalis to Afro-Asiatic. So if you're Somali and you support Afro-Asiatic Hebrew, if you're a Romo and you support and you are friends and you are allies with Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. If you're Afro-Arab, Afro-Palestinian, you support Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. If you are Amharic Ethiopian or Ethiopian, you support Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. If you are Tigrayan Eritrean, you support Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. That's what these flags represent. And if you are African-American, then you support Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. You know, so that's what the flag represents. First, it represents the parent. Second, it represents our support the Afro-Asiatic Hebrew Alliance and support with you all. Third, it represents that country or those people support with us. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the flag, and it's not to um, take away or replace someone's sovereign flag. No, but it shows you, is that in the country know that you have this population, you have this community in your country or scattered abroad. So we're giving them recognition, we're giving them love, and we're giving them respect. So if you would like to purchase one of these flags, you want to check it out. These flags are available at www.afroasiatichebrews with a S dot com. So A-F-R-O-A-S-I-A-T-I-C-H-E-B-R-E-W-S dot com. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. It's Afro-Asiatic Hebrew on YouTube. You see the logo right there. The logo is Afro-Asiatic Hebrew. You see the menorah um, going from right to left. Um, you see the menorah. You see the Aleph. You see the Wa. And you see the Resh. And that spells Or. That means the menorah reveals light. You see the lion's paw, the lion of Yehuda or the lion of Judah paw. And you see Africa with the Middle East where the menorah is at. So it's showing you Africa and Middle East, that's Eden, right? And we, our movement is called Eden Ikad. You know how you have the Pan-African movement, it just had Africa, but we have expanded the borders. We understand that the Middle East, on the so-called Middle East is a part of Africa, is one continent, it's Eden, so it's Eden Ikad, one Eden, one Africa, Africa Unite. So subscribe, like, comment, we appreciate your time and much love. Shalom, shalom. But she's Afro-Asiatic. I'm Afro-Asiatic. Yeah.
this one like a sham medic. The same man, man she's said. Afro Asiatic. Uh, I'm Afro Asiatic. Yeah, yeah. Southern, I'm Central, but uh. we still have the same. Yo, 